not just for me, not the selfish internal, but it has to be more for the for the broader, right? That that's what leads to fulfillment and, and the better why. I'm Steven Taylor, this is Weekly ST, and we're giving you, as always, an informative behind the scenes look at a growing Chicagoland cybersecurity support company. It's been a super long, busy week, right? Last week, uh, we had a two day conference in Oak Brook at the McDonald's campus, uh, getting together with uh, other IT business owners. A lot on mind shift, right? What do we need to do to run a growing successful business? And, and typically like what got us to today or here might not get us to the next, you know, two years or five years or to the next growth phase that we need to be. And it's really all about the reinvention of you as the business owner, the entrepreneur, right? You can't keep doing the same things. You have to, you know, learn and grow and reinvent yourself and think differently and bigger, right? Similarly, years ago, if I was still the engineer and still the technician doing the work, you've got to work on your business, not in IT. Uh, and now is kind of another reinvention phase, I think, for myself as well as for our industry and what's going on, right? We've had to adapt, we've had to change. You know, we're not just an IT support company anymore. Now we're a cybersecurity company. And first and foremost, we're gonna make sure our clients' data is protected and they stay safe from breaches and these malicious things that are happening. Yes, we're gonna provide help desk, we're gonna take care of the IT support, but it's 25% more work and things that we're doing and the tools that we're rolling out. And thankfully there's all these great vendors that we partner with to kind of protect these different, uh, you know, doorways or, or silos of data or whatever it might be. And so it's on both sides, it's this big um, reinvention of, of everything we're doing and myself. And so it's just, a super busy time. There's a lot of things that I'm trying to implement and getting our team to do. We're trying to implement with our clients. And then, you know, even from a sales and marketing perspective, how we're showing up differently and telling a different story and looking at this technology problem a little bit differently than just, hey, we're going to answer the phone and take care of your issues. Then yesterday I was with uh, an EO training day. EO is Entrepreneur Organization. It is a group, you know, there's chapters in local geographies of business owners you know on a growth track you know that growth mindset wanting to get together learn from each other help each other those kinds of things and working on strategy and given that we're in this time of kind of shifting our business from being this IT support company now to a cybersecurity uh, company we were talking about brand promise and you know what's your guarantee and you know how are you gonna sell this to the market and really help them to understand what it is they, that you do, what it is that they're going to get out of it and how they can you know, trust you to do that work. And really it revolves around this idea that when our clients follow our best practices and we implement what we do and, and the way we do things and all the tools and the technology and the vendors, that our clients aren't going to be held for ransom. They're not going to get these data breaches, but you know, kind of the guarantee would be that if they ever were, and if the data was unrecoverable, then I'll pay the ransom, right? Really giving that rock solid guarantee to our clients that says, no, we've got this. We're going to take care of this and we're going to prevent these issues from happening in the first place. Oftentimes people, you know, smaller businesses or they're kind of new to their entrepreneurial journey. They're looking for like, what's, what's the one thing I have to do to make this thing better? Or what's one thing I should focus on right now? And it's a funny answer. Like I think the answer is you have to work on everything, right? Everything simultaneously in business, right? It's like the, the spinning of the plates or juggling all the balls. Like you have to keep working on everything and improving it. And you, you can build one system that can get you to where you need to be now, but you're going to have to not, not throw it away and reinvent it, but like build on it, make it better, faster, stronger, and always be improving. And where can we get efficiency and automation? And how can we make our team, you know, rise up and, and be more knowledgeable or whatever it might be, but you're working on all of this stuff simultaneously, you know, one minute you're the janitor and the next minute you're the salesperson, you know, and you have to, uh, you have to work on everything simultaneously. Otherwise it's going to take you forever to really get anywhere. And that, that's why delegation is so important, right? Building a team of people that then you can give 
different you know rocks or issues or projects to and be able to really effectively grow the business because one person cannot do it all and it does not scale and you're never going to get past yourself until you get out of the way and my focus is working again on the business not in it and looking at it from 30,000 feet. What's the vision? Where are we going? What, what things are happening in the industry and in the world that are useful to us or a challenge? And then we're gonna need to fix that. And similarly, what's, what are we strong at in the business? What's a weakness and how can we, you're probably not gonna be able to fix the weaknesses, so how can we focus on our strengths or retool them with what's happening in the world and the industry and how people are buying and what's technology doing? all of these different things and so you start to lose sleep because your mind is always going uh trying to solve the problems and look for the answers and look for what's next and so you know it, it ties into like having a journal and notes and, and delegation just all of these different things but in business it's everything simultaneously sometimes i go back and i reminisce about where in our startup phase and like maybe a marketing campaign would actually still work right and you like remind yourself like oh yeah shit, we should probably go back and do some of that stuff again but also true right i am not the person i was three years ago certainly not five or ten years ago and the next three to five years is going to take a different version of me right when you first start a business, you're like, you're nervous to ask for a hundred bucks. You're like, oh, can I, I'll fix your computer, but maybe a hundred bucks, right? And then you evolve and, and then you realize, well, to hire more people and to create a business and to have teams and to have health insurance and all these different, it costs money to, to do business, right? And so now you have to start asking for a thousand dollars and then maybe you have to start asking for ten thousand dollars. It's like almost a limiting belief of like getting to these different echelons. And I'm using money as the example here, but it's in all these different things, you know? going and reaching out to a bigger potential customer and, and being confident that, yeah, we can take this, we can do this business, right? Whereas before you might you know shy away from that bigger company or whatever it might be. And so just all these different unlocks. And with all these challenges and all the, and all the successes, it lies with you, right? As the, the leader and, and the owner, you know, you can, you can blame people for problems or you can blame the world or you can blame the industry. But if you really dig down and look at it, you go, well, I've got something to learn here and I've got something that, you know, I need to do better to again, unlock and, and make this stuff better. So it all kind of, it all resides in, and lies on our shoulders as the leader and the owner. And the more we can be self-aware to that and go, all right, how do I get to that next level? What do I have to learn to do? How do I need to do this better? Keeps leading to that next level of, of success and growth. And, and it's good things. It's, growing a team and impacting their lives and it's supporting more customers and impacting their businesses and their people uh, and, and in technology that means big things for everybody involved for the last few months there's been this changing thing happening right some of it's getting back to roots right getting back to like confidence and we've got this right when you when you get beat up and things aren't going well and it's never one thing it's like five things at the same time you know new legislation change and team member challenge or a client like whatever it might be like when you keep getting punched you kind of get kicked down you get beat down and and staying positive and staying in a growth mindset there's always more customers there's always more team there's always more things that we can do and we will be successful um, but again like the unlocks and the mind shift earlier on i thought well you've just got to stay positive you've got to kind of control what's going on in your headspace but it's funny i've been enlightened lately to learn that no if you j actually if you just change your behaviors Right, if you hold to your routine, whatever it might be, some people wanna wake up at 5.30 and jog for an hour, some people need to meditate, some people need to make sure they're eating right. Whatever that routine looks like for you, if you consistently go after the routine and the little steps to kind of keep you on track, it actually unlocks your mindset. And then you stay focused in the positive and moving forward where you know you, you can like oh I'm, I'm just going to be positive today i'm just going to be but it's, it doesn't get you there right it's like the routine and the steps and taking care of yourself and doing the things that you know you need to do even the simple steps right i'm going to make three phone calls today to reach out to potential clients or whatever it might be even those simple little things five push-ups right make sure I eat breakfast, get up at 5.30. Those are the things that unlocks the mindset and gives you that traction and that momentum, even a little bit, right, to point you in the right direction. 
one of my notes from last week in the in the right you know along the side in all capital letters discipline because that was the thing i was like oh here i've been like trying to fight it with my mind right like no everything we're gonna like this right but then i was like the discipline is what unlocks the mindset and just doing the little things right you don't have to all of a sudden become a you know workout junkie or like you know become a vegetarian or like completely change but just do the little things whatever they may be to you every single day and that routine and that discipline then leads to the the shift our industry is very fucking difficult right now more so than ever right i think it can be complacency i think it can be stuck i think it can be frustration and the beat down the beat down the beat down but you've got to look at it like, well, this is like, I, I love it when horses like, no, this is the fucking vision. Like, and this doesn't match that vision, knock it off. Like say no to it, fire this person because they're not in line with it or whatever it might be. But it gives you like, this is what we're doing. There's not like, there's nothing else over here. So many of these other guys too, and I did it, right? I opened a, a second business because I'm like, well, I want to do something else, right? Or whatever. You can very easily give up or get stuck or get complacent. And you've got to like, again, either that vision or something inside of you that is driving you, is motivating you to deal with all the problems and the challenges and the issues. It's never fucking easy. It is a lot of challenge and overwhelm and overcoming and you wake up every day and there's going to be some new thing that you have to face and you almost have to like <laughs> emotionally disconnect from it right it, well okay we got to deal with this today and here's how i'm going to solve it and just keep moving forward because the alternative is like oh another issue another problem and then getting upset about it or taking it personally maybe or whatever it might be and that stuff will that stuff will drain you right and then you've got potentially the the leader or the business owner who's been you know, stuck in a rut for five, 10 years. And it's not, it's not good for your health. It's not good for your family. It's not good for your team, your clients. It's not good for anything, right? So call it self-care or me time or whatever. There's so much of an importance on the healthiness of the business owner, the leader, the entrepreneur, right? You've got to take that time for reflection, for growth, for learning, for yourself, for your health, for fun too, right? And isn't that part of the reason that we all go into business for ourselves, right? For these good things. And sometimes we get stuck. Most people, when they go into business for themselves, are like, I want to make more money. I don't want to have to, for me, it's selfish. It's selfish, right? Honestly, over the long haul, that doesn't work because we're not actually we can be selfish people but we're more we are more about community and impact and other people you almost have to shift that internal want need desire to be across a broader base and for me that's where it's at right like i get jazz that we have a team of 18 i'll get even more jazz when we have a team of 30 and if we could impact 300 people that would be phenomenal right and how many more clients can we support and take care of their businesses and their people and, and enable them to do better that's fulfilling work right not just for me not the selfish internal but it has to be more for the for the broader right that that's what leads to fulfillment and and the better why am i crazy for giving this guarantee to our clients or does it really resonate that we mean business and we believe truthfully that we're going to protect our clients let me know your thoughts like share subscribe push all the buttons and send it out to your network so they can get this information as well